Russia's all-out strategy in eastern Ukraine seems to be paying dividends. While its ultimate goal there remains to win Bakhmut and then take control over the whole of Donetsk and Lugansk, Moscow's forces have tapped into neighboring towns to make things easier. Take the salt mining town of Soledar for instance, where the two forces are fighting a hellish battle. Satellite images have captured the scale of devastation in the area due to heavy Russian bombing where lush green fields have turned barren and barely any sight of human life remains. Now, Russia claims to have completely taken over the town. This comes at an interesting juncture for Moscow. It has just effectuated a big military shakeup and remains at loggerheads with the Wagner Group that has claimed it took Solidar all by itself. The win, if true, is expected to help them encircle Ukrainian troops in Bakhmut. Ukraine says it hasn't given up and maintains that the fight is still on. So, what's the Solidar fight all about? Why is this town so significant? And what does it do to Russia's prospects in eastern Ukraine? Hello and welcome. This is Sanbir Singh Ranhotra and you're watching First Post. The Russian military claimed on Friday that it captured the Ukrainian salt mining town of Soledar after a long battle, calling it an important step for its offensive. The claim, if true, marks the biggest victory for Russians in Ukraine in recent months. Moscow has also said that the victory is expected to boost its chances in Bakhmut, where the two sides are locked in a deadly fight. Russia's defense ministry said, and I quote, The capture of Soledar was made possible by the constant bombardment of the enemy by assault and army aviation, missile forces and artillery of a grouping of Russian forces. Interestingly, Russia's claim comes days after its forces in Ukraine got a new commander, General Valery Gerasimov. He replaced General Sergei Sorovikin, who was handed a demotion. Second, Moscow's claim comes at a time when divisions have emerged between regular Russian forces and the Wagner Group over who should take credit for the advance. Wagner Group chief Yevgeny Prigozhin reiterated twice in the past week that it was his troops that captured Solidar, a claim that Russia described as false. So, where exactly is Solidar and why is Russia going after it? Soledar is a small yet significant salt mining town in the Donetsk region, barely 10 kilometers away from Bakhmut. It had a pre-war population of around 10,000 people. Reportedly, it has a vast network of underground tunnels of around 200 kilometers, some of which are as high as 30 meters. Russia claims Ukraine uses these tunnels to house a substantial chunk of its weapons and ammunition. Russia controlling Soledar would effectively make it out of bounds for Ukrainians fighting in Bakhmut. So, they are expected to lose a handful of inventory to the Russians. Ukraine, meanwhile, has denied losing Soledar completely to Russia, accusing them of information noise. President Zelensky said the battle in the region continued to rage on, but avoided any reference to Russia's claims of control over Soledar. He said, and I quote, Although the enemy has concentrated its greatest forces in this direction, our troops, the armed forces of Ukraine, all defense and security forces are defending the state. Zelensky also acknowledged the damage that the Russian shelling had caused in the region. In fact, governor of Donetsk Oblast, Pavlo Kirilenko, said on Thursday that 559 civilians, including 15 children, remained in Soledar and could not be moved out. So, who exactly controls Soledar? According to The Guardian, Russian forces are indeed in control of large parts of the town. Ukrainian forces, however, appear to remain within Soledar's municipal boundaries still fighting in the northwest, around the town's salt mine and railway junction. Additionally, Kiev still appears to control the road beyond the town, connecting neighboring Bakhmut and Soledar with Slovyansk and Konstantinovka. A Russian offensive there would further threaten the Ukrainian forces in Bakhmut. Regardless of Soledar's small size, a Russian victory will be a massive boost for Moscow and provide it with the much-needed momentum heading into the one-year anniversary of the war. Moving on to other developments, former UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson is reportedly planning to visit President Volodymyr Zelensky despite concerns among the Tories that the trip could undermine the authority of the incumbent Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. According to reports, Johnson has told friends he intends to travel to Kiev in the coming months to show his public support for the war-torn nation. Ukrainian sources also said Johnson had an intention to travel to Kiev, but they had no concrete information yet. 
they said Zelensky and the former Prime Minister regarded each other as friends. Boris Johnson, during his stint as Prime Minister, had vowed to support Ukraine's efforts in the war. Currently, the UK has committed to providing at least £2.3 billion in 2023 as aid to Ukraine. And interestingly, it comes at a time when Kiev's allies in Europe are squabbling amongst themselves to arrange weapons for Ukraine. So, what do you make of Russia's claims in Solidar? Will it open the floodgates for Moscow's ambitions in Bakhmut? Do let us know what you think in the comments.